Hi, so we're at parking lot number two at Copeland Forest, just getting ready to go in and head into the trails. And uh, it's a warm day, but it should be nice and cool in the bush, I guess. Yes. So let's get at it. So this is called Purple Star. It's blue. Um, we kind of came in the double track. It's about a two kilometer pedal, sort of to get into where the uh, main loops of the trails are. This is a blue trail called Purple Star. We'll give it a try. Beautiful hardwood forest in here. It's really, really nice. It's dirt, good grip, lots of cool little features like that one. This is still Purple Star that we're on. So the bomb hole trail was super tight and tactical, like really, really super tight switchbacks coming down the side of the hill. This is just a little connector trail here, which brings us to Land Shark, which we're going to try next. So this is still Land Shark, kind of a long, steady climb. Well, this is a little bit of a downhill here. This one's called Slippery When Wet. Luckily it's dry. There's a lot of hills here at Copeland. So you're always uphill or downhill. There's not a lot of flat. Really nice trails though. And absolutely beautiful forest here too. I doubt that the video wow. captures the steepness of this intersection. It's just like a wall. In fact, I think that's what it's called. Yes, it's called the Rock Wall Part 1. This here? <laughs> yeah. Yikes. And it kind of looks like a wall. So this trail is called No Name. And it's going to connect up to one of the blue trails. It's such a nice forest in here. Super nice. The trails, uh, there's virtually no signage at all actually in the bush. So. Unless you've got trail forks or something else, it would be very difficult to know where you are. And there are just so many trails you could get lost really easily. Oh, we've met up some people and some dogs. So it looks like the trail's actually closed that we were going to go on. It kind of runs along the edge of the ravine, but it looks like maybe in the last rainstorm or something like that, it must have eroded the entire bank. And I see they're down there trying to clean it up and restore that bank, I guess. So we'll have to take an alternate route out. This is a blue trail called Mr. Twister. Ooh, chewed up a little bit. <laughs> but fun. There, you can tell it's fun by the yells. <laughs> I'm not. Mr. Twister. Oh, that was a bad gear change. A bad gear change. No. No, I just switched right at the wrong time.
fate switchbacks. And fun. trail. We're back on a different section of bomb hole. A little more well used by the looks of it than the section we were on earlier. <laughs> uh, you can tell the winners are rock feature behind you. That's Bridgie's battle cry. This is just one of sort of like the higher speed green trails that connects to other stuff. So nice and easy to ride on pretty quick. Um, and we're going to pick up another blue trail. It's called rail trail, but it's too squiggly to be following a rail line, so we'll see what it is.
So we tried a few different camera mounts today just to see how it would look. So we did one from the seat post kind of facing backwards so you can see the back tire. And then um, I mounted it on the lower half of the front shock. So you can kind of see the front wheel but it looks a little bit oblong because of the wide angle lens. And now it's mounted on the top of the shock, right at the very top. Um, a little different perspective again, just for fun. See what it looks like. This is a really fun trail, this one. It's called rail trail, but it's just because it's beside the railway tracks. It's got nothing to do with the rail line. No, this is just the access all the way back to the parking lot now. Yeah, it's kind of a Yeah, although we're, we're almost back now. No trains. That's good. So we're done, <laughs> went for a good ride. Uh, we've tried, actually we tried a little bit of everything. We did green, blue, and uh, black, and uh, the double access trails as well to get in there. Um, there's virtually no sign markers at all in there, like no trail names, nothing. So if you don't have a trail app, you will get lost because there's a ton of trails in there. Um, if you don't have a trail app and you're here, I suggest you snap a photo of the map it won't tell you everything because it's really just about the double track trails um, and the junction markers. All of the single tracks don't even show up on there, so you, it's hit and miss. I, I think. I mean, you could very easily get lost in there if you didn't. Yep. If you didn't have a trail yep. app, it would be very easy to get lost. Um, yeah. So don't count on the signage in the trails, but the trails are amazing, really fun. Mm. Lots of hill climbing, up and down, up and down, up and down, constantly. Um, but, facilities uh, are parking lot is nice is yep. good but there's no washrooms no and uh, so no change area no so but there i think bad. there's three three or four different parking yeah. areas so you can access different points along the trail which is kind of good too but it was really fun a uh, really gorgeous day yeah it's uh, beautiful here it's a nice breeze so we're on our way now to osler lake provincial park set up camp see you